Hello and welcome to Katrina's Creations, my bariatric journey. I'm home. <laughs> um, I still do have my uh, pick lines, which are IVs that run in right around. Well, I don't want to show too much, but anyway, you could see it right here. So I have that and I am getting fed right now. This is an antibiotic that's running and I have um, what's called a TPN, which is like a it's what's feeding me at this point. So I'm still nothing by mouth. Um, this is Tuesday. It's easy to lose track of days. Today is Tuesday. And so, um, yeah, I came home last night. I did really good this time coming up into the house. The first time I tried to go home, which was about four or five weeks ago, which is hard to believe it was that long ago. But I couldn't get up into the house because we have two steps. So while I was in the hospital, occupational therapy worked with me with stairs. And I have a lot of assistance things right now. I have um, a walker that I'm still using. Short distances, I'm okay without it. But longer distances around the house. And, and if I've got to carry something, you know, like my IVs and stuff I strap them onto the uh, walker so um, yeah and if you hear ticking it's those of you who have been with me for a while I have a, I have a grandfather clock well a wall clock right over here and it's not the biological clock that went off years ago so um, but I can't reach it to shut the clock off it's above a sofa so it's, a, it's out of my reach Dave has to fix it so anyway um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I was okay my first night. I had to get up like every two hours to take care of necessary things. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'm feeling much better. I feel a lot more relaxed here at home. I'm in a nice comfortable seat that was that's my mom's, uh, but it's it's a recliner meant for shorter people. The last time when I came home and I tried to sit in this chair, I couldn't. I couldn't get back out of it again. Uh, so I can tell that my strength is coming back some. Uh, the uh, doctors and the therapists also gave me some arm exercises to do, and I've got I've got my weights. I match because you know, ever the fashionista. Only kidding. But anyway, uh, so I've got that. So I have some leg exercises and some arm exercises, and then, you know, I'm trying to walk around the house. And what's going on this past week? Well, it's been a busy week because Monday, uh, no, let's start back. Let's start Saturday night. Dave was here at home. Now you knew Dave fell the week before, tripped over a, a, a curb, like one of those little speed bump things that's in a parking lot curb stop yeah he tripped over one of those and ended up being taken by ambulance to the hospital where I was at and getting fixed up there well he's he's still shaken from that and he actually Saturday night his nose started bleeding and he couldn't get it to stop it was literally from what my daughter said, it looks like a it looked like a murder scene here at the house because it was just blood everywhere from him, and it was even out on the on our porch. Uh, from he had to call nine one one and get an ambulance to take him to the emergency room again so they could try to get the bleeding stopped. So thankfully, it has not started back up. He has an appointment on Thursday, Friday appointment on Friday to get that looked at once again. And so that was one day this week. That was Saturday. And then my daughter and her husband had to go pick him up from the emergency room at midnight on Sunday morning. So, yeah, that was Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday, um, they did a CAT scan of me again. And they had noticed my white blood count was going back up again, which means there was an infection and they found not on the side where my drains are, which is on my left side, but on my right side, there was a small little pocket of um, like pus, um, sort of like your, you know, your fat tissue that kind of looks like a sponge. It was like in one of the little nooks and crannies. 
I sound like an English muffin. I would like an English muffin, but I can't have one. But anyway, um, so I had to go down at the hospital to a place where they use the CAT scan and they put, um, they put a needle in and they aspirate the uh, stuff that was in there. And it was like a, they said it was like a real thick pus. They got out what they could, but it was hard to pull it out because it was so thick. But it is growing bacteria, so they know there's still some infection in there. So that's why I am still on the um, antibiotic, which is this right here. And they do believe that the hole is closing up. They think it might be totally closed. So we'll see. So next Wednesday, I actually will be going back to the hospital and they will be taking I have a stint down in my esophagus um, which is like to kind of direct everything in the right place and uh, as far as any fluids or anything and so they are my doctor is going to remove that I'll spend the night in the hospital and then they will check it to make sure that the hole seems to be closed up and that everything's okay and if it is, I get to go home and I get to start the regular liquid diet. I don't have to be fed by IVs anymore. If that that's the best case scenario, and that's what we're hoping for. So please pray about that for me. I would appreciate it. Um, but otherwise, if they find it's still leaking, then they will put a stent back in again. And I'll have to wait a little, little longer. So best case scenario, everything's good and I'm ready to go. And move on with life so that's that's the goal so anyway I like I said I did come home yesterday the living room looks like a medical uh, office with all of our stuff set up all over the place but we're getting there but it's so nice just to be home I feel like I feel like I can relax a little bit more so anyway that is it for this week's report and fill in of what's going on and I will see you again next week. Bye, everybody.